Hello everyone, this is Jason with Break the Anger. And today is a day celebrating liberation. It's Juneteenth. On June 19th, 1865, it was finally announced in Galveston, Texas, that the slaves in Texas were free. This is two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. So these were the last enslaved African Americans to be freed in the South. <clears throat> and this holiday is especially important this year as we have a increased intention, increased attention on the movement of Black Lives Matter because of the continued killing of African Americans by police officers in this country and institutionalized racism, which has not gone away. So the days of slavery may feel like they are a long time ago, and that oppression is in our past. It really isn't. It's actually quite current. And so <clears throat> as a mental health provider, I work to become more aware of what actually exists and that is institutionalized racism and my role as a white person in <clears throat> this system. So I examine my white privilege and my implicit bias and I work towards anti-racist activities. And I think that that is extremely important for mental health providers to do. And it is remarkable that among are among clinicians, there are very few African-American clinicians for African-American clients to seek out. And it does make a difference. Um, often people do want a clinician that looks like them, that knows their experience from their shoes. That's really not something I can offer. I can offer empathy. I can offer understanding. I can offer it and, and I can enter into that relationship and do my best <clears throat> to be completely understanding. And still, as a white person, I'm not going to know what it's like in that person's shoes to experience institutionalized racism every hour of every day of my life. And that has a huge impact on your mental health when that is the case. So as a clinician, it is important for me to support others who would like to be clinicians, who are, who, who are people of color, um, to step up and who would like to serve the community. Um, it's very important. So today, I hope you celebrate liberation. It is Juneteenth. Until next time, stay safe and stay well. Take care.